In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called combine two tables. So you can see here we have one table called person, which we have some couple columns, right? So person ID is the primary key for uh, for a key column for the uh, for this table, and we also have address. So address is also another table, and address ID is the primary key column for this table. So each row of you know column uh, each. Uh, each row of you know this address table contains information about city, states, and of one person with ID is equal to person ID, right? So the question um, that we want to solve here is we want to write a SQL query to report the first name, last name, city, and state of each person in the uh, person table, right? Um, and if the address of a person ID is not present in the address table, then we want to report null instead. So we, we can be able to return the result in any order. And so here you can see we have an example, right? So we have a person table, we have an address table. Uh, you can see in the address table we have, uh, in this case, the person ID column, we have two and three. And if our person table, we have a one and two. Right, and you can see that we have a for this person does have data in the address table. Right, you can see person ID two and person ID two here, but person ID one doesn't have any information in address table. So in the output, you can see that we still list out all the people or all the person that we have inside a person table. Right, but the thing is that you can see that Ellen doesn't have data in the address table. So in that case, we basically set city and state to be null, right? Be because this is part of the requirement, you can see that if address of a person ID is not present in the address table, report null instead. In the previous video, I talked about difference between like left join, right join, uh, full join, as well as just the normal uh, inner join as well, right? And uh, I will put a link on the top cor right corner um, and uh, please go watch that if you don't understand the difference. It's really, really simple. I talk about it with examples, only a three minute video long. So highly recommend that you check out that video before uh, checking out how we can be able to solve this question. So now let's focus on how we can be able to solve this problem, right? So the problem here is that we want to join those two tables together, right? We have person table, address table, um, and you can see that if this person, like we basically want to join the table where we want to display all the person, right? All the data that we have in the person table. And if there's a situation where this person doesn't have any data in the address table, then we're gonna set to null. So basically that sounds like we should use left join. Now, I wanna answer why we should use a left join, but again, if you haven't checked out my, my previous video about you know explaining SQL inner join versus outer join, please check out that video. But Basically, the reason why we should use outer left join is because um, for left join, right? In this case, we're the, the the table on the left, which is the person table, and the table on the right, which is the address table. And when we're doing left join, we're basically selecting all the rows that we have on our left table, which is the person table, right? And only the commons uh, data, right? Only the common rows in the right table, which is in this case the address, right? So like I said again, uh, left table, right? Le sorry, left join, we join all rows on the left, right? And only common rows on the right, okay? And uh, if there's a situation where the left table doesn't have a data on the right table, right? There's no common row on the right table, then we will set it to null. Okay, so you can see that on uh, for our solution, you can see this is what we have, right? We selecting first name, last name, city, and state. That's what we want uh, from the person, right? The person is the left table, right? Left outer join address address is the right table. So and then on basically, you can see we're having a condition here, where you know person dot person ID, and that's what we want to join, right? We want to join by the person ID here. So person dot person ID is equal to address dot person ID. Right. If those two are, you know, if this condition is true, that means that we're, you know, we're we're basically uh, joined on the right, you know, uh, with the right data. Right. So you can see that this is how we solve the combined two tables uh, legal question.